Let's go. Let's go outside. Come on. Good morning, everybody. Hope you guys are doing awesome. Uh, so I finally got my registration and the new license plate, plate which I didn't expect I'm going to get a new license plate. But uh, hey, I'll take the new license plate. So uh, we can go ahead and uh, swipe the new license plate on the new ones. And uh, today, today is my day off, but it's really busy day. We have to pay stop in and pay for the car insurance which i don't really want it but we're just gonna have to do it uh stop in at a couple other places uh, if i have time i'm gonna have to stop in at the dodge dealership because i have a couple questions about the hellcat so uh and um truck truck and my wife's car needs to be detailed before winter so either one of them has to be done today for sure um we're also gonna go get some gas full gas tank for the winner um so yeah very productive day uh uh so busy on my day off uh we also have to go to the dentist so yeah but uh very beautiful day today uh 70 degrees outside man i'll take it it's it's nice so we still have time to enjoy driving a hellcat so let's get to it let's go swipe this uh new license plate and i just uh put this uh nice new frame in and i have to take it off again Alright. Alright, so that's all done. Um talking about license plates guys. Uh what do you guys what's your opinion? So my whole deal is I wanna get the car being outside is all blacked out, everything is black, nothing else. So talking about license plate i had this european license plate on my uh pest challenger should i put it on a uh, european license plate on a hellcat but not not yellow but it's gonna be black so uh it's all blacked out license plate uh leave me a comment below the video should i put the custom european license plate all blacked out not different any color but black so uh i don't know we'll see i might do it i might not leave me a comment to see what you guys think all right here we go cold start guys system is coming for this car and I can't wait if it sounds so good right now I couldn't just imagine how it's gonna be with a new exhaust system um, let's sit sit here for a little bit and uh, let the car warm up I'm always warming up my car about five minutes ten sometimes uh, get the oils warm up and loosen up and you know lubricated everything up in the engine so uh, I always do that. Some people don't, some people do, but I do always. All right. So let's do that. Track mode. We're gonna go with the, obviously with the track mode is a way to go. All right, let's go and uh, pay for this. Um, super expensive <laughs> car insurance which I'm not really want to do it tell you 
the car is just so responsive it just I'm telling you it's just a rocket ship it just wants to go who's calling me insurance place I actually have a state farm uh, they've been pretty good with me all these years I've been with them like I said I try to look for the uh, different kind of uh, insurance company but uh, basically it's all the same same amount of price so uh, I guess I'll just stick around with them I might gonna do a house bundle uh with my like a home insurance and then if i do that i might get a get a 17 percent of a discount on my uh, car insurance so i might do that i have to see what it's all about all right Howdy. Hello, how are you? Good, good, how are you? I need to pay for insurance. <clears throat> Alright, so uh, there you go guys. I paid my full, uh, full uh, paycheck for this car insurance. So uh, yeah, it is what it is, you know. <laughs> it is what it is. That's what happens when you have a Hellcat. You just work in to pay uh, all your uh, all your paycheck. Hi. Hi. Uh, I have an appointment. Sergio. Yes. Okay, I'll get you checked in. All right, guys. So we at dentist office. Um, hopefully everything's gonna go well, and we'll get out of here very quick because I don't like dentists so <laughs> wish me luck all right boys we are done with the dentist uh, so uh, everything went well brush your teeth and you're not gonna be in the dent dental office with the cavities <laughs> squeeze every every single drop in there we're not gonna waste any drop of gas <laughs> we needed every bit of it for this car all right so we got a full gas of tank for the winner we're good to go the reason I always fill it up full gas tank of for the winner because if you don't uh, there's gonna be uh, air in your gas tank um, and creates the moisture so if there's moisture it will be a rust so that's why I always fill up with a full gas of tank I 
Alright guys, so a lot of people asking me why is the car insurance is so expensive on them cars, the Hellcats. Uh, so here's why. Because dumb people do the dumb things. They uh, either doing donuts, racing, not being careful, and wreck them. And they end up being in a, in a junkyard. And if it's a total loss, uh, the insurance company the insurance company know they have to pay you that total loss check and if your car is worth hundred thousand or hundred plus uh, amount, amount of money they know they have to pay you so uh, and they don't like to do that so uh, that's why it's so pricey <coughs> and also um, if you you know do a little uh, bump or rack it a little bit it's pricey for them to to fix it if you claim your uh, accident you know it's it's expensive to fix them cars uh, so that's another reason and uh, also it's also it's, it's it's all depends uh, what kind of engine you have under your hood what uh, vehicle what model what uh, gear like I said and uh, the location you live in in it so all them things account as well so obviously if you have a brand new Hellcat and you live in a big city your insurance is gonna be high very high <coughs> so uh, there you have it guys that's why insurance on this car cars are expensive because Insurance companies know people gonna wreck them. They're gonna end up in a junkyard. They don't wanna pay the total loss check to you. So that's why they bump it up the insurance. Well, looks like we're gonna be detailing my wife's car get it ready for the winter and uh, the truck we're gonna be doing tomorrow for sure if it's not gonna be too bad over the weather because it says it's gonna be raining 50 percent so hopefully not so we'll get it done and get it ready for a winter come on what are you doing <laughs> you know there's people that can see it. It's during the daytime. <laughs> it's okay. Throw it! Wow! 
on you. Yeah, on me. Go, go, go. Fast, fast. All right, so this is it for this video. Thank you for tuning in with me. Uh, very productive day. Did a lot of things today. We didn't end up at the Dodge dealership because I didn't have a time, but I do have some quite a bit of questions about uh, the Hellcat. So we'll do that next time. But uh, I think this is it, guys. The car is ready for hibernation. Full gas tank, uh, all clean. Uh, we definitely not gonna see this car for the next four months yeah something like that but uh after the winter stay tuned guys because there's a lot of things coming in for this car so hit that bell don't miss out the upcoming videos because next year is gonna be super awesome a lot of things gonna be happening so i'm excited and uh this is it guys thank you for tuning in Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for upcoming. God bless you and have a great day.